On today's Alchemy of Souls Season 2 Weekly Countdown, we will focus on the great priestess Jean Buyun. There are only 14 days left to the premiere, which all fans have been awaiting. The second season of Alchemy of Souls is set to blow the viewers' minds. The production team has been building the suspense with official posters, trailers, and stills, and fans can't get enough of the teasers. Jean Buyun is a character most fans are curious about. We hope the writers will have all the answers in the upcoming season. I decided to shine more light on this quiet yet strong character. Make sure to stick to the end to learn more about the Great Priestess. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell to be among the first to see our content, thanks. Jean Buyun is Jean Ho Kyung's first daughter. The apparent successor of Jin Yuan. She was born blind but could sense and predict things those with eyes couldn't. She was born with extraordinary powers. She could tell when the weather would change and the emotions around her, and she could predict things before they occur, which makes people sometimes doubt if she's blind. Interestingly, Bu Yun is a tweak of nature. She died in her mother's womb but was resurrected with the ice stone. When she died in Jean Ho Kyung's womb, Ho Kyung went to the Guanju Jang Gang and pleaded with him to revive her with the Ice Stone. This ultimately was the genesis of the Ice Stone's release into the world. The Guanju took the Ice Stone and never returned it. Jean Ho Kyung loved Bu Yun so much, not only was she her successor, she was full of potential. One of Bu Yun's many gifts is to sense objects of power. She could feel the energy of powerful artifacts and could trace them. Because of this, Ji Mu and her supposed father, Wu Tak, decided to use her to find the Ice Stone. They took her out to the lake in the middle of the night to find the Ice Stone. When she found it, Ji Mu demanded it. She refused to hand it over to him, which made Ji Mu forcefully grab the stone and shove her into the dark lake. It's still unclear what she wanted to do with the ice stone. Because before Ji Mu pushed her into the lake, she appeared to be summoning the lake's energy. Fortunately, she survived and winded up at the other side of the lake, where an older woman found and took her in. This was how she assumed the life of Mutiok. She was named Mutiok and lived as Mutiok. What's further confusing is why she didn't attempt to reunite with her family. Why did she continue to live as Mutiok even when her living circumstances as Mutiok were different from the life she led as Buyun? It makes fans wonder if she lost her memory when she was pushed into the lake by Ji Mu. Or does she have her reasons for living as Mutiok? What we know for sure is that she has an ancient soul. So maybe, she knows things just like Master Li. Her mother, Ho Kyung, was devastated by the loss and would stop at nothing to find her. She searched for her for years to no avail, which ate at her. Bu Yun, the original Mutiok, is a mysterious character in the show. When Naksu, wounded by Park Jean, decided to perform the Alchemy of Souls, she met Mutiok who was Bu Yun but discarded her because of her inabilities. But when Naksu performed the alchemy of souls, Bu Yun was the one who showed up. Naksu was momentarily confused by this but couldn't stop the process by then. How did Bu Yun end up amid Naksu's soul swapping? She allowed herself to be used. Why did she give herself up to Naksu? What's more, it looked like she was on Naksu's side. She showed up for her whenever she was in dire peril, like when the eunuch wanted to take Mutiok's essence in Chanbaguan. She showed up and instead took the eunuch's energy leaving him petrified. Bu Yun was why Mutiok didn't need others' energy to prevent petrification. Master Li felt her presence and protectiveness when he wanted to kill Mutiok because she was a soul shifter. He said that the body harbors a great soul referring to Bu Yun. She didn't only save Naksu, but she also saved Jang Uki from Gil Ju, who wanted to swap his soul with his. 
She also advised Mutiak when necessary, like when they were stuck in the ice stone fog. What's curious, though, is why she decided to stay dormant. She's powerful enough to regain control of her body. Why did she allow Ji Mu to control Mutiak with Shaman Choi's bells? Why did she remain quiet during Mutiak's killing spree and near death? These are more questions we hope the Hong sisters will answer in the next season. Many fans online theorized that Guanju Zhang Gang might be Bu Yun's father because of how Ho Kyung went to him when Bu Yun died in her stomach and how he agreed to revive her. Many also speculate that Bu Yun and Cho Yun, Naksu, might be sisters or twins, as she allowed her to use her body. They pointed out that only Naksu's father, Cho Chung, was mentioned in the first season, and no one knows who her mother is. Some fans believe her mother could be Ho Kyung. We hope the Hong sisters will shine more light on Bu Yun in the upcoming season. There are so many questions the fans need answers to. If we are to expect anything from the graceful, mysterious great priestess, hopefully, it would be answers to most of our questions. We hope the incredible writers won't sweep this mysterious character under the rug in the forthcoming season. The worst they can do is kill her off, which wouldn't sit well with the fans. What do you think of Bu Yun? Do you believe that Jang Gang is her father? Do you subscribe to the thought that she could be Naxu's sister? Let me know what you think in the comment down below. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to this channel to be among the first to see our content. Thanks for watching, bye.